welcome back to the Algarve and um, I have actually sent the camera back so this is being taped on Abe's phone so we'll just see how good it is um, I thought today what we'd do um, some of our subscribers that have been round to our house have actually said oh it must be so nice that you can grow all your own stuff and I think people really expect when you have this kind of environment that you'll be able to um, produce a lot of new stuff. Um, we're one year on exactly today since we moved up in and um, the answer is no. We still have to pay quite a lot for shopping. The only thing that we actually have got ready at the moment is green beans. The Monge 2 is growing and so are the peas. And the onions. The onions are still growing. Um, I've been eating some pak choy. Abe's not really a fan. Um, we've also got radishes that are ready. Again, Abe's not really a fan. Um, and we've had the odd few tomatoes that are in this polytunnel. What I thought we would do today is go through our shopping list. Now this is just a very basic list we'd probably still have to go to the shops for the odd thing um, now we did shop and we're not getting paid for this because we never do at Lidl's and Lidl's didn't used to be my favorite here but in comparison to a lot of the other supermarkets I think the meat is a lot better so we've decided to do a quick shop in Lidl's because Spencer's coming back tonight and I um, yeah I do think that their quality I think they've really upped the game in there um, so we'll go through the prices of how much things cost so we got two family packs of minced beef for 9.41 each we also bought two bottles of Penacova water at one euro and five cents we still haven't been and tested our um, borehole water so we're still buying this which is silly really we don't need to have to test it um, the tomato sauce which we can use for pizzas or we can use for spaghetti bolognese are 1.99 each and farmhouse cheddar 1.99 um, Going on to the chicken breast, which the that one's got five chicken breasts. This is yeah, the both got five chicken breasts. And the weight is um, a kilo again of chicken breast. They're six forty each pack. Now these sticks, I think Ed has bought them for Bell. They are one forty nine. Now one of the reasons. That we are actually doing this is because our um, Canadian and USA subscribers can't believe how cheap it is here in in uh, the Algarve. So um, going on to um, a small piece of ginger that was only twenty eight cents. Um, so the cherry tomatoes are two sixty nine. Um, and they're actually from Portugal, so mm. thumbs up for that one. Um, we have been very naughty. We have got four chocolate puddings, which is 65 cents and each. And the type is? Creamy and chocolatey. Um, now, Spencer's coming back today, and he absolutely adores them, so that's why I have bought them. Um, We've got some squirty cream here mm. to make some nice squirty chocolate or that's coffees with brandy. That's what we tell all the boys and girls. On an evening. Um, and then we have some liqueur chocolates, which are naughty. Um, but I love these. They, they only come out at Christmas. So we've got um, that flavour. And Abe's bought himself some marshmallows to go in his hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I've bought some cherry liqueurs again. How much are the marshmallows? Um, the marshmallows were one seventy nine. The cherry liqueurs were two seventy nine. Yeah. Now mixed peppers there. 
2.35. I have actually got my very first pepper that's almost turned red in the polytunnel. But this is to put in with the bolognese, so I thought I'd buy them. Um, now the carrots were 89, but we have got some carrots growing but they're just not ready yet. Everything's going to come at once, you just know it. And, um, oh, just some face wipes, just to take your makeup off, 75 cents. Now, butter, which is Lidl's own butter, I think, 179, which is not too bad. And then we have, a couple of sweet potatoes which are 187 and some fresh basil at 165 we have a butternut squash which is 255 again I've got some squashes actually growing in the field and they're still flowering so um, we'll just have to wait for them to develop um, a large bag of onions is two, two euros and six. And what's the weight? Two kilos. That's not bad. Yeah, five kilos of potatoes, batatas, Potato. is four ninety five. And then we have pow. Now you can say that wrong, and it can be a rude word in pow. in Portuguese. Pow. You have to say it through your nose. How? How? And that is just one euro and eight for that. And then we have some bananas, which is one eighty-eight, and a mini pack of segres, which is twenty minis for nine ninety-nine. And the minis are roughly. That size. Not as big as Angela, but nearly as big as Angela. So, as you can tell. our shopping bill for three people, because Spencer's coming back, it was €87.90. And we got a €10 discount. But, um, I should imagine you will be going to the shop at some point during the week. But it is quite a good inroad for the week. Um, I'm sure I will make several meals with it. In fact, I might incorporate it in our next videos how far the food actually goes. Yeah, as long as you mix a mincemeat and chicken with staples, you actually... Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Mm, make it go further. I used to do one chicken breast per person, per dish. Um, but but, but now we're getting now, poorer. Yeah, exactly, we're getting poorer now. Um, we slice them up thinly and make two breasts go for three people maybe and if all else fails to replace the meat we can always dig up the snails from the yard and we have a lot of them they are absolutely destroying my cabbages at the moment but they're and they're delicacy. And they are in the pak choy as well yeah and the, the tiny ones. and the really good thing about snails is people pay a fortune for these little scavengers maybe we should become snail farmers mm. I, I think they're a bit too slimy for me mm. Right, let's see. get this shopping away. Mm.